the young cat from Jamaica, Oblique Thompson. Seville. Okay, Seville. He ran a 9.915 and came in last. In last. Dead last. Yeah. So what does that what does that say? Yeah. Uh, what does, that, what Seville, does that say? Oblique Seville also in the semifinal versus Noah Lyles came in first, which is why I felt really good about Noah Lyles because I could tell that in the semifinals when he had to win, well, he, the top two would automatically make it to the to the finals. And I think they took the, the top four scores. However, Oblique Seville basically beat Noah Lyles by like a step and a half. But I knew Noah Lyles wasn't running as hard as he could. And I could tell Seville was running as wide open as he had. He gave it all he had. Hey, man, ain't your obliques like underneath your arm or like around your rib cage? Aren't they called obliques? That's your... Right, or like around your ribs. Ain't that yeah. called your obliques? Yes, yes. Why they name that man after some ribs? <laughs> they may like, they may like barbecue, man. I don't know. They may like barbecue. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, so forget that. The biggest, the bigger, you know, thing about this story is, like, the guy, he, he came in last this year's 100, but would have came in first in 1988. What does that talk about? Does that talk about technology, their training methods, their nutrition? All of those things, sir. Today's athletes, sir, they are literally optimizing everything with the sport. 